lot when you start showing me to be back home and to be back at, at Gethsemane. Amen. Thank you. Amen. So many good people here. So many people that have loved us and have prayed for us and stuck right by our side. And I'm going to tell you something. I promised I wouldn't do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm so happy tonight in my heart. And the Lord's been so good to me. Back before the COVID, some of you know that I had a, I'd never been in the hospital. The Lord blessed me to play college ball four years, never had anything broken. Nothing, nothing wrong with me. 68 years old. I spent my first night in the hospital to find out that I had an 80% blockage up next to the brain. I'll never forget that night. Because it was brand new to me. And the doctors walked in and said, you're one lucky guy. And I said, you need to understand I'm one blessed guy. That's right. Because I'm still alive. So we're going to have to be real careful. We're not going to do invasive surgery because where it's located is too dangerous. But we're going to treat it with medication. And praise the Lord for two and a half years now. It's worked. Amen. They had a good plan. Amen. And I went back just in, in November. Reggie and I and Walker had been talking about this thing some more. Man, I'll tell you what, I've been on the road 65 years. You're talking about going stir crazy. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do that. If I had a list of don'ts, I mean a mile long. Don't turn your head fast. Don't do this. But I got peace from the Lord one night. And he told me I could go back singing. Amen. And so I met with a neurologist on my annual visit. I told her, I said, Young lady, are you finished with me? She said, well, it's unchanged but stable. I said, well, is that all you got to say to me? Because I want to tell you something. I'm fixing to go back singing. And she said, I said, you may not have cleared me, but the Lord has. That's it. That's it. She said, well, Terry, you do two things, please. You be real careful, but two things. You stay well hydrated. I said, I'll drink plenty of water. And she said, and whenever you sing, don't you move. You must. I said, young lady, let me, are you a Christian? And she said, well, yes. I said, well, when I sing, and there's something that tingles up and down my body, I'm going to move around. And I recognize that as the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful to be back at Gethsemane. We love you. I'm going to tell you what, I, I, I'm going I'm to say this, and then I'm going to get it over with. This young fellow right here is like a brother to me. He's been right by my side. The numerous phone calls... I lost my mother on November the 18th. And I looked around at the funeral home and here he was, right there. I'm going to tell you something. I'm so thankful that he not only preaches, I mean, he preaches. And I kid him about how much that, how, how can that much dynamite come out of one little body like that right there. But I'm going to tell you what, he's the best pastor. He, he just loves it. I, I, and you know, I'm so blessed tonight to have pastors down here too. We just left Greenville this morning, and you're talking about a pastor. That's a pastor too there, right there, Mr. Robert Pittman. But, but thank you, Brother Sam. I love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. I love you with all my heart. Yes, Timothy, I love you. I'm glad to be home. Yeah. We got two in the back back there. They said, they asked me, said, uh, this is a family group now. Well, yes, yeah, it's a family group. Uh, it's uh, the. One of them is my natural born son. The one, the other one in the back that does all the work and everything else. That, that's my adopted son. So that's Rodney and Danny in the back. I wish you'd make them feel real welcome. <laughs> and then I want you to look at this right here. <laughs> now, Sam, we talked about grandchildren a while ago. Yeah. Them kids are okay, but them grandbabies are the best. <laughs> right? Oh. That right now? You look at this, he's 18 years old. 
This is exactly what I looked like when I was 18. <laughs> Yeah, boy. You're a living testimony of that. He's already singing good. We're going to turn him loose in a little while. Would you make him welcome my grandson?